Yo, what's up guys? We're going to make a quick video about how to compress an image in Java. Um, the code is in the description if you want to go to my GitHub and download it real quick. It's just an image util class with three functions. Uh, the first thing you see here is the main, which we're going to run later. We're going to grab a large image, which is three megabytes. We're going to transform the image into a byte array. Then we're going to pass that byte array into a recursive function that compresses the image until you get it below two megabytes. So you see here, this is the uh, function that uh, compresses the image. Um, this static variable up here is the max compression size. So we're, we set it to two megabytes, but you can set it to one megabyte, you can set it to kilobytes, however you want it. But two megabytes is what we want. We want every image to be low two megabytes or 2000 kilobytes. So this uh, recursive function is gonna take two parameters, which is a byte array, which is the image and the float image quality which is a zero to one float. It'd be 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.5, so on, so on. And one being the highest image quality, which we're always gonna start at because if we pass an image in and it's already below two megabytes, then we just wanna return those bytes immediately. So like I just said, we have the base case of this, this recursive function. Uh, if it's below 2000 kilobytes or two megabytes or the image quality is less than zero, we just wanna return it. Um, all this code is from multiple Stack Overflow questions and I kind of threw it together and came up with my own solution. So not all of this is really my code. So some of the stuff, like most of us, I have no idea what it does, but I'd had done little research. So this byte array output stream is what we want to uh, basically get the image at the very end and return a byte array. This image writer is what you want to write the image as format, which is JPG for now. You can change it to PNG or whatever you want. Um, if you see these comments and you have, these are all, this is basically the research I've done. If you want to copy these and put them into Google, you can actually see what's going on. But this image writer basically just writes the image to an output stream so we can get the byte array. And I have no idea what this does. And I do know what this does. So this sets the com compression quality metrics. Uh, this mode explicit basically means it's going to start at the very highest if we don't uh, explicitly say what it is, which we do. So down here you can see image quality, which is the float we passed in it, which is going to be one to start off with. Um, this buffered image uh, we do need to have. So we're going to get the input stream. You see here we use the bytes and then we're going to read that input stream. Um, this right here is... Uh, originally I had errors saying bogus input errors, so you can actually try to comment this out and run it with uh, your certain images, and if it works, awesome, but if it doesn't, you're going to get a lot of bogus input errors, is, which is basically, there's something wrong with the image, or in the bytes, there's some kind of complex byte stuff that I have no idea what to do. But for me, it was always the alpha channel, which is basically the background behind the image, whether it's transparent or non-transparent. So we removed the alpha channel and I stopped getting these errors. So line 60 here is a compress and insert the image into the byte array and you need that image writer that we initialized up here um, at the beginning. And then this is very important that we close all the streams if you don't, you're going to get a bunch of stream errors and it's not going to compress correctly and it's going to return a, a corrupted image and we don't want that. So you can see here we have the bytes and we return the compressed image, which is the bytes and then the image quality minus 0.05. So it's going to start at 1 and then it's going to go to 0 0.95, 0 0.9 and so on. You can change this to how you want it to be. It can be 0 0.01, you can do minus 0.1, 0.5, do whatever you want to do. Um, it just basically, it's just going to take longer in uh, compressing the image. Um, removing the alpha channel, this was straight off of Google. I have no idea what that does, but I know it gets some type of background and it redraws the image and it recreates the image, which is a buffered image, and it returns it with no alpha channel. So quickly here, you can see in the main that we get an image, which is three megabytes, uh, we get the bytes, which we're going to pass in the recursive function. I'm going to show you how many bytes it is originally, and we're going to compress the image, and then I'm going to show you how much uh, bytes the compressed image is. 
So we'll quickly run that. So you can see it's three uh, three thousand kilobytes or three megabytes, and like I said, our compression size is below two thousand kilobytes or two megabytes. So you can see here it uh, went through and cursively did it until it's below that, and we got eighteen hundred and twenty six. So I'll show you again, but this time we're going to change it to a thousand, which is one megabyte. So this one would take a little bit longer, but not too bad. So you can see here, same original image bytes, and it's going to compress it until one megabyte. And you can just literally keep on going, guys. Um, you can do 500, and this, like I said, it'll take a little longer, but not too bad. And it's just going to keep on compressing it. So you can see how that one took a little, maybe like a second longer, because instead of running through the cursive function twice, it probably ran through it four or five times. But this does really good when you're trying to upload images to a different server um, and it does very little honestly to the image quality um, that's why I did minus 0.05 because most images um, you know they're not going to be over 10 megabytes unless you're uploading like a space image or something crazy so if you do 0.05 it rarely goes below 0.7 image quality which is absolutely fine and honestly you can't even tell the difference so like I said, the code is in the description. You can pull the uh, GitHub, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll see you guys in the next video.